Good job. My name is Brian Tobin. I'm a student of UNT. I'm taking the LTEC 4470 Human Relations and Business Education and Industry. This is my Pekka for interpersonal skills while using mobile devices. Mobile devices are very big today and sometimes people are being respectful and disrespectful. This is an example of how we need mobile technology in business today. I like the blurring of this picture because it shows how fast people are going and how fast they need the information. The fact that everybody has a phone, I'm not too sure exactly how they're getting to where they're going, but that's enough of the story. This, uh, this is a little disturbing to me because it really shows how we're all become reliant on technology and how we're using it and we're kind of segregating ourselves from it and everything is wireless. This kind of shows how we're dependent on it. I'm sorry we're unable to serve you if you were on the phone. Thank you. It's becoming more and more common, especially in the food industry, because they are having to wait for your, your order to come in and the next order to come through. So not only are they losing money, but it's very disrespectful because they're having to listen to a conversation they don't need to. In this picture, I find it very, this person was very disrespectful because they're being the center of the attention, but they're using a mobile device to do it, and everybody around them is having to pay attention to this person, although they're not showing the screen to everybody to know exactly what's going on. But, and in this picture, this is very common restaurants anywhere. You've got that overloud person who is just being too much. It's very disrespectful, very disturbing, and a whole lot of unnecessary noise, and they really need to put a boss on that. In the next one, this is how mobile technology is starting to affect the home. You can tell the plates are full. You can tell people are waiting to eat. And here is a person who would rather be on the phone sending a text or something like that to someone they know instead of looking for people around them and being conversational. I find this very disrespectful. In business, this is probably one of the biggest things you'll see. Uh, someone's trying to show somebody something. They're a person that they're showing it to. It's a phone call. And instead of putting a personal phone on the phone, they put the person trying to show something on hold and I find that very disrespectful. I get up and walk away when that happens to me. This is a great picture of the offices anywhere. Rather it's a coffee shop, rather it's anywhere, even a fashion show. This person's trying to sell something and they want you to see it. They don't want you to go there to be there. They want you to be able to watch them while they're walking on like remember the office is anywhere. In this one this is kind of disrespectful where a guy has thrown his computer and if the person who is there waiting is also waiting for the answer, that phone should be on speakerphone, not a, just a one-sided conversation. It's just kind of showing you how people are segregating ways of they do things. And this one, they're just putting the waiter on hold. Again, if you're that busy, please leave the table. They're being instructed to everybody else and the waiter taking up time. It's just not a respectful thing to do in general. I, I just don't like people when they do that. It's just very disrespectful. This is a model in a muscle car. And many years ago, that's all it would have taken to sell anything. But we've become so reliant on technology that the model in the muscle car are now the models for the phone. And that's just how we are and how things are being marketed anymore. And this is how I used to find my friends before cell phones and social networking was around. Uh, I used my skateboard or bike to roll around to find out where everybody was at by seeing all the bicycles that were left around in the neighborhood. Great way to find people and get exercise at the same time, but it's gotten a lot easier these days. This I thought was kind of funny because it makes me think of everybody who goes to coffee shops and sit down to do work. I think in this case where they're trying to bring back the old typewriter as a form of type, you know, doing lettering and stuff like that, I think it's kind of a goofy thing to do, but kind of funny. Now, on a good hand, social networking and interpersonal skills when you're showing stuff to other people is really good. It helps you be able to not only talk to people, but have relevant information for everybody to share and talk about. 
this is a great example of how to use ampersand space while in there. Mobile devices are also good in business in which in some cases you can actually see people dressed in, in clothing before you even try it on. If the model doesn't look good in it, you have the same body type, you're probably not going to buy the dress. At the same time, if they look great, you will probably buy it. This is a perfect example of using a cell phone in the office. The person stepped away from the group, allowing the group to continue to talk while they conducted their cell phone business. This is very professional, and I thought this was a very great professional shot of how to use phone in the business space. And moving on to the next slide, using mobile devices during a meeting is great, and in this case, I like this shot because they have mobile devices, and when they talk to each other, they put the devices down and engage each other before they pick them back up and start doing whatever they're doing next. This is where mobile devices all the way around is a good thing. Everybody at the table is using a mobile device in some way or another. And in, the, and in business, when you have to have information at speed of light, this is the best way to do it. And I think it is a great way to get multiple viewpoints. For my last slide, technology is great. Business, social media, strategy, technology, all put together in a single device. It's just how we use our etiquette with it.